there's a great man that was born on the 23rd of June 1972 he was all born all the way in the southern province of France in a place that is called Marcel and growing up his family members saw that he had a great talent to play football and while I was growing up he played for a football team that was called Camps. from Camps, he played for Bordeaux and from Bordeaux he played for Juventus and also played for Real Madrid this particular young man became a world best in the year 1999 2000 2003 he became a world best and all his life he's been doing so amazing then in 2006 this man I'm talking about most of you have heard about the name it's called Zinedine Zidane he was playing at the World Cup that was the final match at the final match doing so well as a matter of fact he played a penalty to just score a goal at the seventh minute of the World Cup but whilst the whole tournament was going on on the 110th minute somebody on the field actually provoked him the name of the person that provoked him is called Marco Matarazzi and because he provoked him out of anger he had to head him and when he had Matarazzi Matarazzi fell down and all of a sudden that was his last tournament and they gave him a red card and out of that he went on retirement France actually left the World Cup scene and everybody was insulting Zidane and said, Zidane, you started a very great football career, but the way you are ending it, you've ended it in disgrace. One particular sports pundit said, Zidane has been disgraced and he will never come back again. But after many years, he entered into coaching. And when he entered into coaching, he became one of the managers of Real Madrid. 2006, there is somebody in here people told you your life is about to start but in the next few moments you are about to break a record that nobody around you has ever broken in your family before everybody around him said to him you can never make it again but not knowing in the future years to come he was about to break a record I don't know about you what people say about you is not your conclusion what people say about you is not going to be your end what your father told you is not going to be your end but in the next one minute God is about to change somebody's story and, and hear me this guy by the name of Matarazzi actually brought the trouble to Zidane but let me tell you after that nobody has ever heard of the name Matarazzi anymore sometimes the people who try to put you into your trouble they are nobody so be very careful who provokes you when you carry destiny people can provoke you but if the hand of God is over your life there's going to be a major turn around in your life the, the one that shouted the loudest you are about to disgrace your disgraces you are about to frustrate them by the mercies of God you may be seated you may be seated and after he won the president of Real Madrid at that time said Zidane you can stay in this team forever because what you have done nobody has been able to do this particular thing everybody I came to tell you one good news you are gifted I said you are gifted if somebody around you cannot see your gift it doesn't mean that you are not gifted because when you are gifted God finds a way to protect your gift from some vipers and from some snakes because some people are smiling with you but they are snakes they stop with you they kiss you but behind the scenes they are snakes but there is a God that is about to protect your gifting from those people that's why after I today and tomorrow some people will not call your phone anymore some people will not call your number anymore some people will not come close to your life anymore and when they don't call you anymore don't ever beg them again because the level God is about to take you they can never go with you on that particular level and sometimes when God is about to bless you you've got to separate yourself from some people because if you don't separate yourself from some people they can crush the destiny you carry most of you where God is about to take you some old friends cannot talk with you anymore and sometimes when you begin to move yourself from some people they tell you you are proud not because you are proud you are very selective you don't want anybody into your space because the vision you carry is not for everyone it's for few people